What's going on guys? Beautiful day out here, Sunday. Gotta get some stuff done. Gonna change the oil for my car and check, check my tire pressure. Come on in. So, we're to get underneath the car, drain out the oil, change the filter, then I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. So this is the oil I'm gonna put in my car. It's 5W20 conventional oil. Most of us get our oil at Walmart or some auto store. And most of us know that oil originally comes from the ground somewhere. But here's my question for you guys, mainly for my environmental science students, um, is where does oil originally come from? Like it's in the ground, but how did it get in the ground? Why is it there? Um, so I want you guys to research that. I put supplemental reading material in Google Classroom and I put it underneath this YouTube video um, for you guys to check that out. All right, so first step to changing the oil here, it's gotta get underneath the car. And you gotta loosen up right in here. I already got the uh, got the socket wrench right here. And you just gotta loosen it up and drain out the oil. So and we should get some nice hot oil coming out. All right. So now we got the uh, we got the oil drained out. Now we gotta change the filter. Um, so we got our filter right up here. We got to take out. So we're going to attempt to do that now. Oh boy. Okay, so this is the clean new filter um, that we're going to install now. Took the old filter out, new filter in. So all we got to do is place it right up here. And uh, we should just be able to screw it right on in. All right, second to last step. Uh, we got to just put the oil in. A uh, little trick, just so you know, you make sure you're putting in the right oil. Mine right here says the exact oil right on the actual cap 5W20. Some cars might have that. And you want to make sure you put the correct volume in. Um, so we're just going to fill this up. Okay, um, so the last step, we're gonna uh, pull it off this. We'll check the level um, to make sure we have the correct amount of oil. Then you're done changing your oil. Okay, um, anytime you change your oil, good idea to check your tire pressure as well. Um, and this relates to chemistry right now. We're gonna talk about gas laws. Right behind me, um, I've got, uh, what would you call this thing, Dad? Compressor. This is a compressor. Um, use it to pump up my tires. Um, there's actually a lot of gas laws involved with this. Um, on this video, or beneath it, I'm going to have a link to all the different gas laws, but we're specifically going to talk about the gas laws and how they relate to your tire pressure when it's cold or warm. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. All right, so I'm going to pump my tire up. Um, because it's been getting a little colder lately and uh, I read online actually that your tire pressure decreases for one, one PSI for every 10 degrees it goes down and probably the inverse is true as well for every 10 degrees the temperature goes up um, it increases the volume of temp your tire by one PSI um, this has to do with Charles Law Charles Law states with increased temperature, it increases the volume, and the opposite is true. With decreased temperature, it decreases the volume. Um, so your assignment for today, I'm going to give you two drawings of tires, and I want you to draw how the molecules are moving around in a cold tire versus a warm tire and relate that to Charles Law. So I'm going to go ahead and take my pressure. See what I got to do? So I'm at 29. 
we got to go all the way to 34 in this. All right, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching me change my oil and uh, fill the tire pressure in my car. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.